Hello, hello guys, my name is Fanny Ziki and welcome to The Cat Lady. Now, just as I said before, I wanted to play a trilogy of games, which is uh, the trilogy's name, uh, Devil, The Devil Came Through Here, or something like that. And this is the first game. It is not actually the first game from the Harvester games, but it was the first, it is the first one in the trilogy. Or trilogy, sorry if I'm pronunciation is bad. Anyway, uh, this is one of my favorite games. Yes, I have played this, but I haven't played it in years. And I'm gonna try to get the perfect ending. Now, uh, why would I play something like this? Something that I have already played before. Uh, as I said in the previous video of Ryan, I wanted to play this trilogy because it means a lot to me, especially the Cat Lady. It, as you can hear, I'm not using the happy voice I usually use because this game is not a happy game. This game contains... <laughs> actually, take this as a warning. This game contains um, very strong stuff. I don't want to say too much because it will be kind of like spoiling but you may be guessing right now what kind of topics uh, can be in this game now uh, one thing that I like from the Harvester games is that they use uh, illness, mental illness as the main thing in each of their games it's not like they're making fun of the mental illness don't take it like that it's nothing like that but the way they manage or they use the mental illness for their topics is amazing this game helped me so much a long time ago and I wanted to share it to see if maybe this game will help other people too. When you see this, just when you see the beginning of this game, you'll get what I'm saying. I'm just trying to not spoil that much, but I really want to play this game for you guys. I I want to see if somebody get help with this, and maybe with not with this one, but maybe the next one, which is, which is Downfall. But I think I think sorry from. The two of them, uh, the Cat Lady and Dawnfall, I think the one who has more weight is this one. Now, I haven't played Lorelei. It was like, I'm gonna say recently released, because it was like between this year and or the last one, but many years passed between Dawnfall and Lorelei. And even more between the God Lady and Downfall, as far as I remember. But yeah, this this game is serious business, honestly. This is not a haha game. We may discover or may see like happy times, but it's just happy moments. You're going to see many strong stuff. So uh, if you don't want to see anything like that, I understand. If you can, if you don't want to see the video, I understand that. Don't worry, I'll keep playing Rhyme, don't worry. But I really wanted to play in this month, in October, these three games. Also, I'm not going to separate every chapter of this video in 20 minutes. This game contains chapters, so I'm gonna divide it in chapters. It's going to be more difficult in Tomfall because it's different, but in this one, I'm gonna respect the time in each chapter. I hope you can understand that. Okay, so let's begin. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, 
and I will miss them dearly. But they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Chapter one. <laughs> yeah, I remember when they used to use this kind of sound effects, but you know what? I don't give a freak. This game is beautiful. Now, as you can see, yes, I was talking seriously when I said that the topic in this one, in this game, is very serious. We just started with a suicide, so I'm not joking. If you really don't like to see this kind of stuff, uh, yeah, don't do much. <laughs> it's a very good game. It's not just gore, stuff like that. Like, I wouldn't play something empty as that. And yes, it, it's a horror game, but it has more than it, you know? Oh my god, <laughs> my game crashed. I can't believe it. It's like, it cannot be a funny ZQ video if it doesn't crash, right? Okay, so... Oh, actually, it says left or right, but I'm using was. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna use was. My game crashed, crashed again. Every time I try to minimize the, the, the window, it crashes. So I cannot check if something happens. Also, something weird happened. And I don't know if it's going to be in the recording because I couldn't hear, hear it. So, sorry. Um, it was my family, my mom, who sent me a message that she, she heard a big like hit. I, I don't know how to say it. Like a big punch and then somebody crying and <laughs> I couldn't hear it so I don't know if <laughs> even the recording you're going to listen to that well, I'm sorry I don't know what happened I hope nothing ha nothing bad happened my god okay the luck I got I have in my recordings honestly this game I really missed it, okay? Press up to open the interaction menu. Uh, cycle through available options with up and down and press enter to confirm. Alrighty, so, okay, enter. It's locked, okay? And examine. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock the, the padlock and get inside. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. Dude, the change of art. Wait. No pedestrian access. I didn't see that before. What does that mean? Pedestrian?
Sorry. <laughs> An ambulance. Yep. Examine. I can't go any further. Yep. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Yep. Maybe there is no exit at all. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, open the door. Let's see what's inside. It's locked. Yep. Don't worry about it. Huh? <laughs> what's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me. It's the Babadook. Ba ba. I do. <laughs> Even though I knew this was going to happen, I was still talking. <laughs> I was talking and thinking about the Babadook, and it kind of scared me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this is not a haha -ha game. Sorry. It's me. My cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. Check this out. Ah, uh, their freaking sound. Yep. Examine. I look so calm. Open my eyes. My eyes. Just about one thing I liked from myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Uh, open the mouth. Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's a key. Sorry, Susan. Bye, Susan. Jesus. Yep. This part looks so weird. It's like it's like there's actual something, but at the same time it's just a wallpaper. Hello. Now, this is obviously telling me to follow him. I'm gonna check the padlock later. The music in this game is so cool. I love it. That's me again. Examine. My dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? Yep. Uh, search. The body is too high. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. Uh, and I can't untie this. Yes, I, it will be taking hours to undo this, this knot. Well, actually, you have all the time in the world, Susan. The rope is tied to a knot. Yep, I can see that. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is locked. Yep. I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Maybe. <laughs> Follow the animals! And look at that. 
the deer we were following. We, ah, uh, sorry, we were following. Hey, dear. Examine. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Pull out the knife. Thank you, dear. And then unlock. And yep, here am I. Okay, uh, no, wait. Uh, yep. Knife. Yes. Hey, Susan. Okay, search pockets. They're empty. And take the key. Examine. I look like I'm just sleeping. Yep. Let's go. some display at least it's not my head stuck in the bars okay open okay yeah it's locked let's see the gate key <laughs> uh, examine it's a large rusty key all right hello again welcome to my house susan ashworth I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. <laughs> but I'm curious, who do you think I am? Oh, uh, I should have played this in, on Twitch. So you can guys like decide which name. Um... Uh, I have already said the devil and an old lady who lives in the woods, so mm, I don't want to say a god, but I'm going to say death, even though I know it's not death, but I'm going to say it. Death? Interesting. Yes. Perhaps that's what I am. Oh. I come when there's something to take. But I never give anything back. I am doom. But I'm salvation, too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while. Keeping you company, always there, you know? Always there. Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. <laughs> Perhaps I am life. <laughs> but then again, does it really matter? Does it? Now, something interesting. Uh, remember I said, uh, are you a devil? Are you some uh, old lady in the woods? She usually... She usually, sorry, uh, laughs to the to any kind of uh, answer. So it was interesting this time she said something different. So I'm glad I'm playing this game again. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna say my opinion about her later because you need to know some things first. So let's let's ask what is this place? What is this place? This, my dear, this is my humble kingdom. kingdom, and this house is my castle. I really invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. Okay, and what will happen next? What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. 
Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Along the seashore. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. <laughs> Okay, look at. Is she, is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all? Now we can talk properly, my dear. Okay, I still don't know really who you are. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Is there anyone else here? Hmm. You know what, I think I can ask the three things, but... I want to ask this first. Is there anyone else here? Hi. <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. Okay, now let's go with this. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me, but there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Yes. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Mm -hmm. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. Okay. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Okay. Should I say I have no reason to live? Please just let me go. Um... You know what? I'm kind of afraid of saying that because... To get a perfect ending is quite difficult. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say it, honestly. So, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes, I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay. 
what's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. Mm -hmm. But though we are both dead, I am not death. Mm -hmm. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as God. Yeah, I wonder and why. I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. Only in a slightly different way. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Those five people, who are they? What makes you think I wanna go back? Hmm. I wanna say this. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. Okay, those five people, who are they? Those five people, who are they? The parasites, that's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? <laughs> Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? Yep. You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? <laughs> you will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me. And we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Now that's the thing. Ah, my god. I really wanted to play and finish this game as quickly as possible. Because I have so many thoughts about the, the Queen of Maggots. Jesus. And when we play Downfall, there's going to be even more questions. It's like, oh my god, these games. But I, I really should stick like... I should just shut up and <laughs> let you enjoy the game. <laughs> okay. So, are you expecting me to kill them? Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person, and I also know that you don't want to suffer, 
and those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. Mm -hmm. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm mm -hmm. not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. Okay. What makes you think that I want to go back? What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. I can't do this. It's too much. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police. Not someone like me. Yeah, the police. Indeed. You are weak. Thank you. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. Because this you is a video game. always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please. Can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. You can do that. This almost be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Nah, this is... I, I prefer this one. Kinda. Because this is just denial. This is... Yeah, you're angry, but you know this is true. It's blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Are you really? Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. Well, you will either true. go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. You mean hell? Okay, it seems that I have to say this. This must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Oh my god. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. I mean, it's hard to believe. See this door here? I do. Let's go inside. It looks like her head disappeared or something. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Yep. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. No. Say hello. I just wanna say... I don't want to look at it. <laughs> Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. Yeah, remember this. I don't this. want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Yep. I, I need you guys to remember this place. Because it's not herself that she's afraid of. Trust me. Remember this place. Okay, examine. It's stuck in the cross, yep. Uh, I suppose I could easily pull it out. Yep, pull out. Yeah, casually 
you have seen your hell and you just oh I'm gonna take this <laughs> okay uh, cross examine crucified all alone in one place that's changed it all I really don't want to be here I wonder if there's something else that no, there's not okay you there talked Susan. It's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Fine. I'll do what, I, what you want. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Can you tell me again about the parasites? No, I don't want to ask about it. So it's like, you know what, I'm gonna I take orders from nobody. I have played this game before. I'll do it my way. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Snip snap. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Yep. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? True. I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, <laughs> I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake. And I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. Kinda. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. That's true, that's true. You fool. You damned arrogant fool. Maybe. You have no idea what you have just done. Really? But fine. Have it your way. Yep. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. Really? I always am. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to insult her. I'm, I'm just going to be sarcastic. Yeah. Don't laugh too hard, old woman. You might break something. When we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances. So I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. Mm, that's denial right there. I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. Now, I know what I have to do. I, I'm supposed to be blowing the candle. But I wonder, can I just go further without blowing the candle? I want to check. I want to check. Oh, I can't get through these. What the hell are they anyway? I didn't see this before. I can't get through these. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, what I know, I know. What the hell I know. are they anyway? Yep, those are maggots. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do, which is blow a candle. And I guess it doesn't matter which which candle, honestly. So I'm gonna blow this one. Examine. Strange. The flame seems strong and and steady, but there is no smoke. Yep. And blow out. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Now, now that I'm thinking about it. I should have chosen the yeah I'll do it your way and stuff like that so uh, to explain it because I freaked up <laughs> I mean I, I didn't freak up the game but uh, the explanation <laughs> uh, yeah these candles as you will guess after seeing this are the life of somebody so it's in order to get uh, to get to uh, to revive stuff like that, uh, I must take the life of another. 
which is kind of dark, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be blowing the candle every single time when I die in the game, but you will see many times when I blow the candle. So now that I took the life from another, now I am free to go. It's weird. What the? How did I get back here? Mm hmm. Ha! Huh. Interesting. A car in flames. Interesting. Now that's interesting, and you'll see later why. I like this music, it's kind of like the first songs from Infected Mushroom. <laughs> okay, door. Uh, examine... Oh yeah. Mm, I'm gonna use this key. Yes. This friggin' place. Okay. So, machine, examine. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Will it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Switch on. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch out button in this machine. <laughs> How do you turn it on? Oh, you'll see, guys. You'll see. Salmon. The hole has been bored up with these planks. The sign underneath says emergency power switch danger. Oh, sorry. Emergency power switch. Danger. Then pull it out. I'm not strong enough to pull it off with my bare hands. Yeah, no problem. Look through. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Yep. <laughs> Okay, yes. Check out this hole. <laughs> Examine. Yep, it says the same. All this blood around the hole. Was someone hurt here? How about that? And the door closes. Yep, this is freaked up. This is so freaked up. Now, if you didn't believe me that this game was with serious stuff, I think this is a great warning right there. <laughs> Just this intro. The Cat Lady. This game. <laughs> I love it. Now, as far as I remember, this is the end of chapter one of another intro. Yep. This is the end. <laughs> Okay guys, I really hope you liked this video. I know I'm not talking that much in this one, but uh, there's already like... Yes, oh, I this. do enjoy fine. Oh, oh, Thank damn. you for noticing.